Hi, it's Rob from the Brush and Bulkham. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint a Death Corps of Krieg Veteran Sergeant. If you'd like to support the channel, our coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Now onto the video. The first colour we're going to use is Citadel Death Corps Drab. The base colour, which is a nice dark olive green. And we're going to use this to do the helmet and the coat as well. I'm doing these like the 158th Siege Regiment, based on the images from, I think it's the Siege of Rax book, where they're in a slightly darker, more dulled down and grim drab colour, rather than the slightly brighter green that Games Workshop painted their coats and helmets in. So I'm going to use some Thondia Brown. I'm going to use this to do the trousers which you can see underneath the great coats now there are some great miniatures these the death core krieg fellas also the orcs from the kill team box 2 there's some amazing details on all of them the krieg chaps have got some nice material and creases and things like that that you can do some great highlighting on practice a few different techniques I'm going to use some Citadel Bane Blade Brown. I'm going to use this to do all of the leather strapping and webbing and that kind of stuff. With that done, we're now going to use some Citadel Mechanicus Standard Grey. We use this to do the armour plates. And you've got a couple on the back of the hands. You could just leave them as the same colour as the leather gloves, like you get the old army gloves that have the padding on the back of the knuckles and that. But I've done these as like little separate armour plates, the same colour as the shoulder plates. On this video, I won't be doing the numerals or the badges on the shoulders i'll be doing one video with both of those on this coming sunday next up citadel talan sand i use this to do their putties around the bottom of the legs there Like so. Next up, we'll do some Citadel Iron Hand Steel. It's going to be to do all of the metallic, so you've got the little rim of the lenses there on his gas mask, or his respirator. We're also going to use this to do the bolt pistol as well and the blade of his power sword. Next up we have Citadel Retributor Armour. We use this to do some of the details like the little Aquila on his helm. Also the bit that protects the hands on his Power Sword 2. And the buttons on his Great Coat. Like so. Next, we're going to use some Vallejo White. Just going to use a tiny little bit of this to do the little dial on the inside of that respirator thing there. Like so. Now we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Squig Orange. Going to use this to do the eye lenses on his respirator. I'm 
now some Vallejo black. I'm going to use this to do on the side of the little respirator control thing on his chest there. There's a few little bits, so we're just going to make sure we've got black onto those. Now I'm going to start shading. We're going to use Citadel Snakebite Leather. I'm going to use this on his boots and also on the straps and webbing and his backpack. Basically the places where you use the Bane Blade Brown. I'm just going to give them a nice coat of Snakebite Leather and I'll give that that nice brown leathery colour. That I do really like. Now Citadel Seraphim Sepia. I'm going to use this to do the putties and also the front of the respirator where you've got that material part. Now we're going to use some Citadel Carrowberg Crimson. We're going to use this just to do a little piece of the dial on the front of the respirator control there. Just on the right hand end of that. Like so. Now some Citadel Athonian Camo Shade. We're going to use this to do all of the Deathcore Drab. So it's great coat and his helmet. You just want to make sure this gets into all the recesses. You don't want pools and pools of it building up anywhere because that'll dry shiny. Just want enough that you get those dark areas in the recesses and shade in any of the smaller creases. So when you build up those colours, you'll have some nice dark to light contrasts. I'm going to use Citadel Nuln Oil. I'm going to use this to do all of the silvery metallics and also the shade on the trousers too. Now we're going to go for Citadel Agrax uh, shade. We're going to use this to do all of the gold on the miniature. There isn't really too much of this. So you pick out all those areas, give that a nice shade. That'll give you some nice dull and darkness to build up the colours and highlights on those gold areas again. Now a little bit of Citadel Fugan Orange. We're going to use this to do the lenses on his respirator. Now we're starting to reapply colour to the great coat and the helm again. We're going to use Citadel Deathcore Drab once more. So when you're reapplying this colour you want to make sure that you're leaving the shade in the recesses. I'll give you the darker shade and the base colour back on there. Next colour we're going to use is Citadel Death Guard Green. I'm going to mix this with the Death Core Drab just to lighten that up. And we're going to highlight the long coat and the helmet. And if you think about where the light's going to be coming from, where you're going to be painting on these highlights and lightening the colour, you'll be able to get some really nice highlights on the go with the creases and the folds in the coat. It's a really nice miniature to play around with that. 
With the first highlight done, we are going to add a little bit more Death Guard Green to the previous mix. Add on another layer of highlight to that. It's mainly going to be on edges and the crests of any creases. It's mainly going to be on the top as you're looking down at the miniature. On the top edges of the creases and ridges and things like that. Because that is where it will be catching the most light. Like so. Next up, we're going to use Citadel Thondia Brown. I'm going to start reapplying the colour back to those trousers. So again, you've got some nice creases here that you can play around with and practice doing those edge highlights and getting the light catching in the right places. You can see from the coat the difference that makes by trying to get them in the right places and getting the highlights done pretty decent. Now we're going to mix some Citadel Mournfang Brown in with the Thondia Brown. We're just going to start to highlight those trousers. So thinking about where the light is catching the trousers more here, you don't want to be doing this highlight underneath the knee or anywhere like that really. Only the bits that would be catching the light. The same with the gloves and the hands. You want to be highlighting the top edges of these. Maybe the sort of top 50% of where you previously put the Thondia Brown. And a final highlight for these. We're just going to mix some more Mornfang Brown to the mix. And just do some nice final highlights on the brown. Catching those ridges and catching the edges. Just to make them really stand out. Like so. Now I'm going to use Citadel Eshing Grey. I'm going to use this to re grey those shoulder pads. It's a slightly different colour to the Mechanicus Standard Grey that we used at the start. But it means we'll be able to do some nice highlights using the Mechanicus Standard Grey and Dawnstone. So now we're going to be using Citadel Mechanica Standard Grey. I'm going to use this to do the highlights on the plates on the back of the gloves and also on the shoulder pads. Those pauldrons are quite a nice shape and in quite a nice position as well to do some highlights on there. So leaving the shade in the recesses and then highlighting the top parts of them to get the light catching in the right places. Would you like to see any of the other Death Corps fellas sing out as well? Hopefully we're moving on to some of the orcs soon. So now it's Citadel Dawnstone. I'm just going to be highlighting the bits that we've done in the grey. Adding the final layer of highlights to those. The areas that will be catching the most light. Making sure that they stand out. Mainly a kind of edge highlight. This one with a few bits on the larger areas that will be catching plenty of light. Now we're going back to Citadel Talan Sand. I'm going to work on those putties and also on the front of the respirator. So you want to be recolouring the putties and the front of the respirator, making sure that you leave the shade in the recesses. They are quite nicely done, these. So again, like the long coats and the trousers, you can get some nice highlights and effects on the go. Now we're going to add some Citadel Rakarth Flesh to the Talan Sand. And we're just going to do the first layer of highlights on 
the front of the respirator and those putties once more. Also while you're doing these, you'll also be working on the bedroll, whatever it is at the top of his large pack. Finally, for this part, we're going to add a little bit more Rakarth flesh to the previous mix and do one final highlight, just picking out the edges and the details on the bits we've been working on. Now I'm going to use some Citadel Balor Brown. I'm going to start working on those Bane Blade Brown shaded areas, so the boots and also the webbing and large pack on his back there. You mainly want to be picking out areas where you're going to be reapplying this as the colour that is then going to be scuffed up and a bit chafed and scratched. So around the pack and the webbing you're going to be doing the edges of the straps and the pouches and things like that with horizontal strokes on the vertical parts and vertical strokes on the horizontal so you get that rough worn look we're now going to add some Rakarth flesh to the Balor brown I'm going to start doing some more highlights and scuffs to the leather to give it that worn and well used look For the final highlight on the bits we're working on, we're going to add some more Citadel Rakarth flesh to the previous mix. We're just going to put some scuffs, edge highlights on the leather and on the pack and the webbing and that kind of area. Just some nice rough edges and scuffs to make it look like it's been caught and scraped over the course of the war. Over the course of its use, I should say. Now we're going to use some Citadel Iron Hand Steel. We're just going to pick out some of these little metallic bits around the lenses and also on the front of the respirator there. We've also got a few bits on the respirator controls there, I've painted the two little dials on the right hand side with it and we're also just picking out a few little details on the bolt pistol too it's time for a little bit of Citadel Iron Breaker I'm just going to use this to recolour the sword so the sword blade has a nice shine to it going to pick out some of the highlights and the edges and surfaces with this on the bolt pistol too just to give them a bit more of a shine. Some of them don't tend to do with marine weapons I'll usually just leave them with the shaded but for these guys I thought it warranted a bit more shine on their gear. So now I'm going to use Citadel Stormhost Silver just to do some edge highlights and some highlights to the blade of the sword. like so. Next up we're going to work on the lenses. I'm going to use Citadel Squig Orange. I like usually do with the lenses. I'll be doing this on the bottom left half of the lens. I'm trying to get it into a crescent shape but these are really really small lenses so if you can just do it in a half. Kind of like cut it diagonally in half. That is fine too. 
I'm going to mix a little bit of Vallejo white, but whichever white you use is fine. Mix this with the squig orange and do about half the area you've just highlighted. Now finally, we're just going to use a little bit of pure white and do a slight line on the bit we just highlighted and a little spot in the front of the lens. Now if you do come to do this and you put a little bit too much white on here, you can just use a little bit of Fugan Orange and either tone that down or you can use it to kind of shade away the white that you've just put in. I'm going to use a little bit of Citadel Retributor Armor now. And this is going to be to reapply some of the gold back to the miniature. Lots of small buttons and decorations on the equipment. It's kind of cool. So you want to try and catch all these with the gold. I'm going to use Citadel Liberator Gold to highlight the Retributor Armour. So you're going to be covering about 50% of the area that you did with the Retributor Armour. So on the little Imperial Eagle on the front of his helm there, I tend to do just the outside edges of the wings, like the outside 50% of each wing, and then also the top parts of the skull. On the rest of it, you just want to be thinking about where the light is going to be catching it and highlighting it from the top. Next up is going to be a bit of Stormhost Silver, and we are going to put that in with the Liberator Gold just to make that final highlight. I'll just lighten that up and you'll be able to put like some nice edge highlights on there, which will be a little bit shinier than the previous ones and make them stand out. Like so. Now we're going to use some Vallejo Black. I'm going to redo the casing on the bolt pistol and the little bits on the side of the respirator controls. Just to give them a nice black coat again. We can start working on the edges and the highlights of those in a moment. Next up we're going to use Vallejo German Grey, I'm just going to use this to highlight the bolt pistol and the respirator controls. Not really too much to do on these ones, not like it's a bolt rifle, which seems to have tons of edges and highlights. And finally we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Mechanica Standard Grey, just to put the edge highlights onto that bolt pistol. Now this next part you don't really need to do if you don't want to. This is going to be doing the power sword effect on the blade. So we're using Araman Blue to first put that kind of lightning effect across the top of the blade and on each side. I'll link up a video of how I've done this in the past so you can see how it's done. There's a few little sections on here that are a bit shorter than I'd wanted due to me putting the sword where I thought the camera was looking and it actually wasn't. So I'll link up the power sword video here and a few little alternatives as well. So now I'm going to mix a little bit of white with the Araman blue. I'm going to sort of highlight the sections where the lightning joins together. Now it's quite a lot of it initially when you start doing this. So there'll only be little bits of Araman blue on those lightning bits towards the edges. And as the colours get lighter and lighter and lighter, it's going to get further and further away from those Araman blue sections. And closer and closer to where those lightning bits separate out from each other or they meet up. And where they meet up is finally going to be white in the middle. 
going to add a little bit more white to the previous mix. We're just going to do a slightly smaller highlight on the area that we've been working on there. You can see those highlights getting closer to the middle. Again, we're now going to add some more Vallejo white to the previous mix. We're just going to move those highlights closer and closer to where the bits of lightning join up together. Like so. Once more, adding a little bit of white to the previous mix. I'm going to do those smaller highlights in the middle there. And finally, we're just going to use pure Vallejo white to do some little tiny highlights in the center of those lightning bits. This really brings it all together. Like so. This is the finished Death Court of Krieg Veteran Sergeant. Really pleased with how it turned out, especially using only the Citadel starter brush. Very surprised with how good a brush that actually is. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media, link below. Thanks very much. If you like the channel and you enjoy the content and you'd like to support us, the Coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Thanks very much.